all of the people calling out sick tomorrow to go to opening day at Coors Field and everybody else who attends may notice that a sculpture that's long stood outside the stadium is gone for the moment. Our Byron Reed has the story. The project was they wanted a statement piece inspired by humor sort of started as a joke <laughs> that welcomed thousands of Rockies fans for more than 25 years. Uh, we started in 1994 and completed it in 1995. Artist Lonnie Hands-On created the evolution of the ball sculpture that spanned the 20th Street pedestrian bridge leading into Coors Field in Lower Downtown. There's home base, first, second, third, uh, in terms of panels, and there are 108 uh, terracotta panels because there are 108 stitches in a baseball. He says he was happy to see baseball fans interact with his artwork for years until he saw plans for a new development. I saw a big rendering of McGregor and the sculpture wasn't there. <laughs> and I thought, that's an awfully big object to leave out of a drawing. The sculpture now sits at an off-site location. Then uh, we started the negotiation to uh, save it and get it moved to a proper place. The artist says he was told the structure will be reinstalled later this year. We've been promised that it will be up by December 31st of 2022. Hands-on says he hopes his sculpture will endure for generations. You get a very big audience with public art and that's that, that's a real blessing. And make more baseball fans smile for many years to come. You know I have to admit it was not an easy process and um, it I think it's really wonderful that the Rockies uh, decided to do the right thing and put it back where it, uh, close to where it belongs. Because it wouldn't be funny if it just disappeared. For next, I'm just looking forward to seeing it back again. I'm Byron Reed.